I turn to Dravid, and shockingly, he smiles. What is happening right now? I don't understand. How long has this been going on? Nisha and Sophia look at each other. Since they first met at boarding school. I turn to Dravid. Wait, so you knew this whole time? Yes, he did. My mouth falls open, and so many things start to click into place. But why even get married then? There's a silence. Because our parents wanted us to, and... Because my parents would never in a million years accept this. Nisha motions to her and Sophia. I turn again to Dravid. So, you were going to act as their beard? Yeah, if that's what you want to call it, sure. I can't believe it. Nisha and Sophia have been in love with each other this entire time. And Java knew all along. I look at him. As if on cue, he speaks. Nisha and I are best friends. He turns to Nisha. I do love you, Nish, and I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy too, Javid. She looks at me. I blush. Oh God, how much does she know? She kisses Sophia and smiles. I can't hide anymore. And I don't want to hide anymore either, but this is the only way we can be with each other and be safe. I think about Nisha's statement for a moment. I understand where her fear is coming from. Unfortunately, being openly gay in India is still a taboo topic for a lot of people. If not literally sanctioned by the law, then by the way society treats you. Sophia isn't from a privileged background, but Nisha is. And if one of the richest, most privileged women in the country can't be open about who she loves, how will anyone else ever have a fighting chance? It angers me, and I stand up from my seat. This isn't fair to them, or to Javid. I have to do something. I have an idea. The three of them turn to me. Just then, the door bursts open. It's Ruthie. Uh, what's going on here? Everyone's wondering where the heck all of you are. I tell Ruthie to come inside and shut the door. And then, I tell them my idea. This is so crazy. I love it. Do you think it will work? I don't know, but we have to try. The next day at the wedding, I shift nervously back and forth on my feet while snapping photos. I'm surrounded by Javid's friends and family. Everyone dances and sings with joy and pizzazz to the blaring Bhangra beats. We are in the midst of an epic Bharat, the parade-like procession the groom and his community make toward the bride and hers. It's the final lead-up to the actual wedding ceremony. Usually, the groom sits atop a white horse while his friends and family celebrate around him. But since this is such a lavish affair, the groom is arriving via elephant in a beautifully adorned and completely covered howda that sits atop the elephant, keeping the groom in shadow until he arrives at the bride's quarters. We all make our way to the edge of the lake. In the distance, I see Ruthie furiously snapping photos of Nisha and her people. My heart begins to race as we inch closer and closer to them. All of a sudden, we're there. Nisha looks so incredibly gorgeous. She's wearing a fiery reddish-orange langha adorned with gemstones and gold. Her hands and arms are covered in beautiful henna, and she's decked out in layers of sparkling diamonds and rubies. There's a final swell of cheering and dancing as everyone waits in anticipation for Javid to appear from his carriage. The elephant finally pulls up to a platform of steps, and I hold my breath as a helper pulls back the curtain of the carriage. We see.